Simon from bottomguitar.co.uk and for this tutorial um, I'm covering lesson in A minor by Fernando Saw. Um, it's only a short piece but does have one or two little technical points in it that many beginners tend to either not know about or just overlook so it's a, it's a good little piece to uh, have a, a, a go at. Um, so as I said, it's in the key of A minor and 4-4 four, four time. And it starts with a pickup note or anacrusis, which is the starting the fourth beat of the first bar. We then play the open fifth string for the first beat of bar one proper. And straight away, we have one of our little technical points in that we need to pre prepare um, the fingers on the first string so we're moving into the fifth position now for beginners this can be confusing what we mean by fretboard positions is the fret that the first finger is working from so in this case the first finger is working at the fifth fret or the fifth position now in general terms that would mean that each finger has its own separate fret so if we're in the fifth position the first finger obviously is at the fifth fret. The second finger, if it's being used, would be at the sixth fret. The third finger at the seventh fret and the little finger at the eighth fret. Obviously, it depends on what sequence of notes we're playing as to which fingers we'll be using. Um, fretboard positions all can, also can be where you're playing a bar chord or a partial bar chord. Now, usually it will say half chord or full bar chord at that fret. Once we're into that situation, that would then mean that the basic idea of one finger per fret will change because it depends what other notes we need for the chords. So for instance, if we wanted to play our chord of A major at the fifth fret, the first finger is still in that fifth position, but we have the second finger uh, on the sixth fret above it, and then the third and little finger are both at the seventh fret. So it, it really depends on what you're playing. So fretboard positions are where the first finger is working from. That's the main thing to uh, go for. So we've played the first two strings. That's the first string and the fifth string open. We now, in the fifth position, need to get the little finger down on our C at the eighth fret on the first string. We pre-place the third finger as well on the B at the seventh fret and the first finger on the A on the fifth fret first string. So those fingers have got to go down together. So we've got first two notes open, down, then we play the C on the eighth fret, followed by B seventh fret, and then the A. So that would now be. In bar two, notice what we do now, the first finger drops back a fret to the fourth fret so we're in the fourth position now and now we're playing the G sharp with the first finger along with the open six string bass the next note that follows it is A with the second finger followed by the B at the seventh fret with the little finger and the last note of bar two is the open string so we've got And again, you see, notice up when we get on the G sharp in the fourth position, and we play G sharp, A, and B, we keep the fingers down. Don't play the G sharp, lift the finger off, then play the A, and lift the finger off and play the B. 
it's we keep those fingers down. A standard practice on string instruments is to keep the fingers down on an ascending scale or run rather than letting the fingers fly about all over the place. So from the beginning we have into bar three we're back to real really normal um, playing so we're back to our first fret first string giving us F with the fourth string open followed by the second string open place the third finger on the C on the fifth string and we're playing the fifth string and the first string open followed by the second finger on the A on the third string second fret into bar four our chord of E dominant seventh which is the second finger on B on the fifth string second fret and our first finger on the third string first fret G sharp so we're playing the fifth string the third string and then the first string open follow that by playing the sixth string then our little finger lands on the D on the second string third fret and then we're moving on to a A minor chord which is the first finger on the first fret second string the second finger on the second fret third string and the fifth string open and then we follow that by playing the open A so that's now giving us Notice also in bar three that the um, third beat C, you hold your finger down for the full two beats. While we're playing the A with the second finger. And again, a common fault that beginners um, will do is keep taking the fingers off. You've got to try and hold the bass notes for the correct value. Um, so now into bar five and we're going back to the fifth position, giving us again the C, B and A so we play the fifth string open then we've got the pre-placed fingers into bar six keep the first finger on drop it down to the F so we're ready to play that note but then we're playing the little finger on the third string G and we're playing the fourth string and the first string together F with the first finger's already covering and then a little run down, first string open, E, little finger on the D at the third fret, second string, C with the first finger, second string, open, second string. And now we're onto um, an A minor chord in bar seven. So we have the first finger placed on C on the first fret, second string, second finger on the second fret, fourth string and the third finger pre-placed on the A um, on the uh, third string, second fret. So we're playing the second string and fourth string together, followed by the third string. Then we have our second string open and our sixth string open, B's, B and E's. Follow that by playing the G sharp on the third string first fret. And then we're back to a bar eight and A minor chord. So again, we finger the chord and we're playing the fifth string and third string together. Then that's followed by the uh, fourth string, then the second string, and then the octave A's again. Right. So we've got Now at the end of bar eight, we have a slur where we hammer the second finger down onto the 
A of the second fret, third string. And then into bar nine, we're playing the third string open, that's G. And follow that by a C chord, which is the third finger on the fifth string, third fret, third string open, and the first string open. That's then followed by uh, octave Ds, that's the fourth string open, and the little finger on the third fret of the second string. Into a C chord, which is the second finger on the second fret of the fourth string E, the third string open G, and the first finger on the first fret second string C. Into bar 10, keep the first finger down, and we now add the F. So we're playing now F, G, and C, that's the fourth, third, and second strings, giving us a suspended chord. And then that's played the um, second string open B. And at the end of bar 10, we have the second finger on the A, on the second fret third string, and we're doing a slur. Now in this case, we're actually doing a pull off. So we're flicking the finger off. So bars nine and 10 are Notice to you, that you keep that finger down on the F, that's got to ring through the bar. Into bar 11, we're playing the open G, third string. We're playing the second finger on the second fret, fifth string, and the first finger on the first fret, first string, giving us B and F. On the third beat, we're moving to our C again at the third fret, sixth string with the first string open. And then we've got D, G, and D. That's the little finger on the third fret, second string. So we're playing the th um, fourth string, third string, and second string together. Hold that little finger down. And as we move into bar 12, we put the second finger on the second fret, fourth string, and we're playing the second fret, um, we're playing the fourth string, third string, and second string together. Hold the second finger down on E, and we're now changing to C with the first finger, first fret, second string, which we play twice. And the last bar of, uh, the last beat of bar 12, the chord is the first finger on the G sharp, first fret, third string, and we're playing our fourth string, open D, G sharp with the finger on, B and E, that's the so that's the first four strings. Into bar 13, the first beat is the third finger on C, on the third fret, fifth string, second finger on the A, and the first finger on the C, first fret, second string, and we're playing the first string open. So we're playing the first string, second string, third string, and fifth string, which gives us a chord of A minor, or the first inversion of an A minor chord. So I'll play it through from bar nine. So that is open chord, bar 10, pull off, bar 11, bar 12, first beat of bar 13. And now um, to complete bar 13, we have to go up to a C again on the first string at the eighth fret. So you place the little finger on that first string eighth fret. We're playing that with the open fifth string. We then need to go to the B on the seventh fret first string. And we need to play the B two octaves below that. Now that's on the sixth string, also at the seventh fret. Now remember, the two outer strings on the guitar are both E strings. So all the way up the neck, all the notes all correspond with the same notes. So you've got E, Fs, first fret, Gs at the third fret, As at the fifth fret, Bs 
and so on, C's and D's. So if you know the, the notes on the first string, you automatically know where that note is then on the sixth string. Um, so we've got our A and C. The third finger is on the seventh fret, first string, and the second finger on the seventh fret, sixth string. We now have this awkward jump. We need to get to the A on the first string, fifth fret. So we're playing that with the little finger and the first finger now is on our C at the third fret, fifth string. So that is. You could also play that by keeping the little finger on the first string and moving it down. So we could play that with the little finger on the B and then put the third finger across. Now that, some players would find that quite awkward, but it, it is just another way of doing it, which means then we can just slide that down and then place the first finger down. So that would be. Either way works. Um, go for the one that you feel more comfortable playing. Um, so bar 14 is the little finger dropping down to our G at the third fret. So we're playing the fourth string and the first string together. And we have this little run down. So we've got F at the first fret, first string. We then play that string open. Onto the second string. Now notice you play the D with the little finger. So we take the G with the little finger with the open fourth string and then F with the first finger on the first string first fret E open you place the little finger on the D on the second string third fret and then notice that you place the second finger on our C first fret that's in order to leave our first finger free for the note that follows so we play the C with the second finger on that first finger is free now to land onto D sharp on the first fret of the fourth string. We take the second finger off, so we're playing the fourth string and the second string. So the second string being the open string. Place the third finger on the second fret of the third string A. Keep that finger down. Notice we can keep that down and then place the second finger next to it on the E, fourth string, second fret, and the first finger on the first fret, second string C. So that's giving us our chord of A minor in bar 15. Open first string, and then place the first finger on the third string G sharp with B, which is the second string open and the sixth string open. First string open again, and now we're back to our a minor chord, although we're only playing the fifth, fourth and third strings, but I, I still finger that chord. So we've got the fifth string and third string together, followed by the C with the little finger on the third fret, fifth string, fourth string, which the second finger is already covering, and then finally the fifth string open. And notice that last chord in bar 16. The A at the top is a tied note. Don't play that second A. It's purely a tied note. So bar 16 would be. Um, so from bar, um, from the beginning, we have open, three place the fingers, hold the fingers down. Bar three, chord of E dominant seven. Again, pre-place those fingers. Run down. A minor chord. Slur. Bar ten. 
slow again or pull off. Up. Second finger leaving the first finger free. Then A with the third finger. A minor chord. There we have the left hand, let's uh, now just go over to the right hand. Right, so I start by playing the first string open with the third finger. Fifth string open with the thumb and then middle, index, middle. Dropping down to the G sharp in bar two and playing with the thumb and middle finger, index middle index finger and um, bar three i'm playing then the first string with the middle finger and the thumb bass note index finger then i'm using the third finger on the first string with the, and then the second um fret third string a is with the index finger the E7 chord, I'm playing with the thumb, index, and third fingers. Thumb, middle finger for that second string, and then the chord that follows with thumb, index, and middle. And then we're into a repeat. Again, alternate fingers. Middle, index, middle, index, middle. Notice the um, on bar three, that quaver run. Uh, sorry, in, in on beat three of bar six, that quaver run. I'm starting the open E with the middle finger, to put, so I don't have to get these fingers crossing one another. So I'm playing first string middle finger, which makes it easier for the index finger to play that D on the second string. Then I'm playing so I'm. All these alternate fingers. And again, I finish with the index finger playing the B open, ready for the chord coming in using the middle finger. And then index finger. So that little sequence is middle, index, middle, index, middle and thumb, index, middle, middle, and then first finger playing the G sharp. And then I'm playing the A minor chord. I play with the index finger and thumb thumb, middle finger, thumb and index finger. Chord with the thumb, index and third, thumb and middle finger, thumb, index and middle finger, same again. Now we get on that one, on the two crotchets, on Bar 10, the two Bs, I just use the middle finger twice. So the index finger's ready for that third string. And then if you want, you can play that again with the index finger. So we can go. You don't always need to be using alternate fingers. If you've got a, a bit of space, if it's a beat, you can always repeat a finger. So bar 11, index. I'm using the third finger on the first string, with the thumb, same again, thumb index and middle, same again, again I just use the middle finger on those notes, chords, using thumb and all three fingers, again you can play this all with one finger, or you can use alternate fingers if you, if you need to. But again, working down, I'm look, I don't want to be crossing fingers. So I'm starting the next G with the middle finger, index finger, middle finger. So I don't need to cross fingers in order to get to that second string. Middle, um, so that's coming down as... Um, And then middle finger, index finger, three fingers, 
and thumb, two fingers and thumb for the coin, third finger for that, open E, same again, and then we can play the chord at the end with the um, thumb and finger, index finger, and that's played all with the thumb. And that's the right hand, or that's how I play it. There's, there are many ways you can actually finger these pieces. Um, but that's just to give you some idea of how I treat it. Um, if I'm trying to do, if I'm doing runs or scale passages, I try and avoid fingers crossing one another if possible. I mean, it, there are times when you just can't get away from that, but it does help if you can lay the fingers out like that. Even if it means putting a, a slur in, in order to keep that, those fingers from crossing one another. Um, so there we have lesson in A minor by, by Fernando Saw. Uh, music and tabs are available free from my website, www.boltonguitar.co.uk. Uh, and I hope this helps you to play this piece. And I will see you on the next tutorial. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye for now.